Heavy fighting between the U.S. backed Iraqi forces and Islamic State terrorists in and around the Iraqi city of Mosul has left dozens of civilians injured and forced many to flee their homes. <laughs> In the last few hours, these latest pictures that have come in to us from the outskirts of Mosul, where injured civilians are being treated at a field hospital. Humanitarian organizations have warned that the U.S. led operation to retake the city could have dire consequences as more than a million people are believed to be trapped there, with the threat of them being used as human shields by the terrorists. It's been comment from a Red Cross official who's warned uh, that the humanitarian situation in Mosul could become even worse than the one currently unfolding in the Syrian city of Aleppo, depending on how military actions are conducted in Iraq. We also spoke to another representative from the Red Cross about the problems facing residents in Mosul right now. Well, from the ICRC's perspective, the uh, use of military in the way that is being uh, discussed creates and can potentially create significant humanitarian consequences. We need to and we constantly remind all parties to the conflict that they have obligations to respect the laws of war, to make sure there's safe humanitarian passage for the many, many in need, and to ensure that civilians and civilian infrastructure is uh, treated with the respect and, uh, and safety. Yes, we're very concerned about the civilian death toll. I think tactics such as the use of human shields by some parties to the conflict are totally unacceptable, totally illegal, but it also puts obligations on other warring parties to plan their military operations and act accordingly to do everything in their power to reduce the suffering of civilians.